Ms. Rebel was surely shaking in her boots by now. Mickey had the third rainbow gem, and he was determined to get the other four. Mickey found himself in a giant library, but he knew Ms. Rebel's books and bookworms were penning a not-so-happy ending for him. Suddenly, Mickey was not alone. Mickey was in a realm of dangerous delights and scrumptious scares. All around was a sea of ice-cold milkshake, but not the sort one wanted to dive into. was hopping from cookie to cookie. The fourth rainbow gem was there for the taking. Hey, you! I mean, me! Stop! Shadow Mickey snuck up behind our hero, grabbed the gem, and made a culinary escape.
Usually, Mickey enjoyed tea, but he might just stick to orange juice from now on. Mickey had the distinct feeling he was being lured into a trap. The green rainbow gem was his. Mickey'd endured a lot of taunting from his pesky shadow, so he couldn't resist doing a little taunting of his own. Ah! Mickey braced himself for the next sugar-coated shock from this confectionery world. He didn't have long to wait. A gigantic red licorice dragon emerged from the melted ice cream. This was the fourth Master of Illusion. search for the most precious jewel of all, his sweetheart, Minnie. Mickey had managed to secure both the fourth and fifth rainbow gems. But was he running out of time? Could he still get to Minnie before it was too late? Mickey chanced upon an enchanted mirror. In its reflection, he saw himself but wearing far more magical clothes.
his heart pounding, Mickey raced into the castle hall, only to be met by another of Miserabelle's illusions, enchanted suits of armor. Nope, not as much. These suits aren't very Dungeons. He knew he had to get those last two gems as quickly as he could. The treasure room were marvelous to behold, but none more so than the indigo gem. With the sixth gem found, Mickey began to feel that maybe it was Miserable's time that was running out. Gosh, <laughs> this place just never stops, does it? Oh!
wasn't playing by any rules now, thought Mickey, as he tumbled into a pitch-black castle corridor. Hey, where are the lights going? into the clock tower. Having once been a clock cleaner, he knew the moving parts were dangerous. He'd have to be very careful as he made his way to the top. Mickey thought the danger of being squished was finally over. Unfortunately, he thought wrong. The oafish clockmaker was the final master of illusion. Mickey had acquired all the rainbow gems. Now he could cross the rainbow bridge and save his dearest Minnie. Onto the castle battlements raced Mickey. An eerie chill overcame him as he beheld the tall tower. He knew it was the heart of 
Miserable's power.
was dazed. But for how long? Suddenly, Mickey had an idea. What if he launched the rainbow gem at the witch? It might be his one and only chance. Take that! Time seemed to freeze for a moment before the gem burst into a cascade of rainbow light, filling every inch of the tower. No! But I wanted to be the fairest of the world! It was the cruel witch's turn to be trapped and powerless, encased in the spreading light. The terrible spell was broken. Minnie was free at last. And Miserable wilted and shriveled back to her true form. Minnie threw her arms around Mickey, and as he hugged her, he vowed never to let her go again. Oh! The gem! Mickey! What's happening? The castle was crumbling, but Mickey couldn't see a way out. What was this? Miserable was helping them escape. Mickey didn't have time to consider if this was another trick. Whoa. Mickey and Minnie each held on to a broomstick and flew for their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Rebel had wisdom enough to know when she was defeated and why that was so. She had learned that there's a magic more powerful than any she had ever used. Mickey and Minnie knew it well, and even after what she had put them through, they shared its secrets with her. Now, Miserable's heart was filled with a different kind of magic. The magic of love. Aww. Oh. Aww. <laughs> now, where were we? The end. Thank you.